Alright guys, so today um, I am planning on, I guess, I kind of hate the term unboxing. I know that's what everyone says and that's the word for it. But, and that's what's happening, I guess. I think the concept of unboxings is a little bit funny. I'm one of those people who, during Christmas and birthdays and stuff, I really hate when people pay extra attention while I'm unwrapping something. And this is kind of what this is. <laughs> but I decided that it's still kind of helpful to do from the perspective of um, like what you get when you order plants online and recommending certain shops or hopefully, I mean, obviously I don't want to find any shops that are um, like not good. But if it happens, this is the time for me to share that with you. Ooh. Hi, Katie. Um, this is all he ever wants be right here at all times isn't it sorry about the lighting in here um basically i've been doing most of the videos outside that's been kind of my go-to place um and right now it is it's not that cold but i just don't feel like sitting out there right now it's much warmer in here so to start with um this first plant is from um, an Etsy shop called It Sucks, like I-T-S space S-U-C-C-S, -S, like as in succulents. Um, this is the one where I ordered a Sansevieria Sayuri. Um, it's just a cutting, it's not the plant itself, um, so you, it'll be interesting to see what that's like. I have no idea which end is up or down. They said in the shop um, that you could request a different size if you wanted but they would send you the tallest one they had um and in some of the pictures they had they were gorgeous but to me i'd rather have a leaf start out smaller that way little pups can join it and it all grow together as opposed to just having one really big one so we'll see what we actually end up with here all right i need some scissors the other crappy thing was that these were not these this one like it was mailed last Thursday? Okay. I was supposed to get it on Saturday and it was one of those where um, I got the notification because I'm one of those people that has like an eagle eye on the tracking information and it said it was at the local distribution center and normally it goes from there to my local post office and um, then to my house like the next day so it's always exciting when it gets to the local distribution center but then it never moved from the local distribution center so I spent a weekend stressing because my plant was sitting somewhere that I'm sure is not healthy for a plant to be. I did not think it would be so hard to open this box. All right. There's a lot of dirt down here, so I'm assuming that's the bottom thing. So I mentioned that I had requested a smaller one, and I think I'm glad I did because if this is she told me um, a shorter one was totally fair request and she has this great short fat one that she just took the cutting from. And if this is the short fat one, then good lord. All right. So this is the little baby that's been stuck sitting in the post office. Ah! Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh. I thought it was just gonna be like a leaf. All right, I definitely expected this guy to be much smaller and have way fewer leaves. So this is super exciting. All the leaves are in really good shape. Okay, okay, this is exciting. So I'm gonna throw him back in here for right now. Second, this <laughs> is way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Whenever I picked up the boxes from my and the front of my house, I thought this was that. Like this was the size I thought that was gonna be. I'm a little afraid now. I'm wondering if I did not order what I think I ordered. So this, in a previous video I mentioned really wanting a um, variegated ficus elastica. That's what this is. So I ordered it from another Etsy shop because that's just been my go-to place for plants if I'm wanting to like find one, a particular plant. Um, Etsy is the place where I find 
a lot of different options and the shipping costs seem a lot more reasonable from Etsy. Some of the stores I've looked at, the shipping costs always, they just seem really, they're just high. I don't know. I mean, maybe they ship them a lot better. And here soon it's gonna be too cold for me to order anything anyway, which is part of the reason I ordered all these now. I feel the need to stay dry. It is not normal for me to get two plants at once. So. Ooh. All right, this is tiny. So this is a little bitty variegated ficus elastica. He seems to be in halfway decent shape. The leaves feel so thin and papery. Oh my gosh. I mean, I would never expect the leaves to always be as thick as a big one, but it's a little wavy. So this guy's all wrapped up in a little, got like a wet towel around the roots. And it looks like there's some dirt around his roots. He's not completely bare root. And then this nice little plastic house. So neither of them have been in the mail for more than a couple days, but okay. So I have all right, so I know I said I wasn't gonna come outside because it's cold and it is, but the light out here is a lot better. So I at least wanna get these planted. That has to happen. Also want to, sorry, just show you these really pretty leaves under some natural light. So I'm gonna start back with the Sansevieria Sayuri. Look how big this guy is. He's huge. I feel like I can, I can lurk. He's a good lurker, good lurking plant. Tried to do a little bit of research before I bought this guy about the difference between the Sansevieria Bantel Sensation and these guys. Um, and really it was just a case of when I looked at the Bantel Sensation, it didn't look like what I had seen in the plant shop that I was kind of wanting, and this did. So even though I couldn't find a lot of information about these, this is what I bought and it's possible that they are the same thing I'm just not sure so um, they came through the mail really well you can see um, a few of the leaf tips have a couple issues but all together like they're really in pretty good shape come on focus there you go so just these really gorgeous like light mint green white Pretty, pretty leaves. They're a little scratched up, but that's okay. And he looks really healthy. I think more will grow. So we can go from there. So. All right, here we go. Wow, Nelly. All right. Huh, I mean, how often do you get a look at just plain roots? I hope they're not too dried out. They feel really dry. I'm gonna put him in this bigger pot here, um, just because since he's so tall, I think he needs to be anchored really, really well. I'm gonna use mostly cactus mix and perlite. I'll throw in a little bit of regular potting soil. in a reveal that will surprise no one. I'm still a little unsure as to how people come up with like what mix they decide to use. Um, I've read so many, I feel like, different forums and blogs and articles and everything about, sorry for the train, the different soil mixes and then there are people like my mom who don't understand why I would buy anything except just regular potting soil. Just that green against the terracotta pot. I have, uh, the first time I heard of a Bantel sensation type, which again, I don't 
I'm not confident that that's what this is at all. But I feel like it's similar. <laughs> um, but this type of snake plant was from um, Nick Pelleggi's YouTube videos. Super fun to watch. They're super great, super informative. Um, and all his plants are beautiful. And he held one up and commented about um, how it doesn't even register to him as a plant. He just thinks it looks very just abstract and like artwork. And when he said that, I'll be totally honest, I was a little like, okay. But looking at this, it's just very, very aesthetic and very, almost unnatural. It's just, just so interesting. So here's my Sansevieria. Say Yuri, again is what he is, S-A-Y-U-R-I. I don't know why I feel the need to spell everything for you, but I do. This little guy is gonna go in the littler pot. As much as I adore these pots, like shaking the dirt out of them, that aren't, like, I just love how these are shaped. I find them at my local Lowe's, although they don't have the trays at Lowe's. I can't find them, but I'm okay with just the pot itself and I'll set it on a coaster or something, I don't know, whatever. It's really pretty. Try to turn him without shaking. You can see, even though he's a small little plant, He's still getting some really pretty um, variegation on the leaves. This is so small, that's fine. So let me go ahead while I'm right here. I'm gonna super gently pull off the plastic and undo the little towel here. All right, so this is what we've got to work with. He stands up on his own, so that's encouraging. <laughs> the roots look really mushy. That's making me a little nervous. Ugh, I really hope this guy works out. All right, so we're back inside with crappy lighting. I'm sorry. Um, my phone likes to do that thing where when it's too cold, it just pretends it lost all its battery or whatever. I don't know. So um, I got this guy potted up. I used uh, mostly cactus mix and perlite. Um, I want to make sure as the roots grow, it doesn't have any trouble digging through the soil. Um, I think I've started to mention that this is the tree that I wanted to get from that store in Boston, but it had the one there had one branch that was about yay high, so just tall enough that I was worried I couldn't convince the TSA officer that I could fit it under my seat or in the overhead bin. Um, and also the owner of the shop had mentioned that these trees, she says when they receive a shipment, it takes them a few days to kind of adjust. Um, and perk back up after the transit. So I didn't want to put it through any more than it had to. Um, the one there was already kind of sparse anyway, so if it lost any more leaves, it would have been a little tragic. Um, this one looks like it's made it through pretty well. Um, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Just a reminder, this is the Sansevieria Sayuri from um, the Etsy shop It's It's Sucks. And this is the, um, very tiny. <laughs> Uh, Ficus Elastica Tinique from Fron, also on Etsy. Um, they both seem to have come through pretty well. I will do my best to keep you updated as they grow. Since it is October, it's possible that they're about to enter kind of a dormant period, so they might not do a whole lot over the next couple months, but as long as I can keep them alive and um, looking pretty happy, I will also be happy. So um, if you enjoyed this unboxing, Go ahead and like and subscribe. I've really been enjoying making these videos. I've been learning a lot as I play with all my little plant babies. Um, and hopefully you guys can learn from what I learned and what I experienced. I will keep you updated as best I can. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.